Hello, I'm FDX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. So the first map for Glide just released yesterday, and I feel like everyone's been having fun exploring the map and just kind of trying out new routes, and that's something I've been personally doing, and now I think I've found every single secret pathway, route, and uh, thing like that that you can find on the first map cavern, and I figured why not share all of them in today's video, in case any of you do want to see, you know, the secret routes you might have missed, but also in case any of you want to get the world record, and you think my route isn't the fastest one you can find, I think there is possibly a way to piece together these extra bits and maybe make a faster route from all of those, so that's why I figured I'd show them all off because, you know, I think some of them might be faster in the right circumstances, and in case you want to do try that, then that's what I'm showing off today's video for. So hopefully you all do enjoy it, enjoy it. like that if you do like it, because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like seeing all the secret pathways in a given minigame map, and maybe you want to see these in the future for more glide maps, because again, there is going to be more of these. Would it be fun if we could play, uh, you know, if we if I could find all of those and those? Because I'm sure if this is the first map, it's the kind of the basic map, I'm sure there will be more complex uh, secrets in the future, and there's already some fairly complex ones in the given map we have here. But yeah, that's it. Now we get straight into it with the very first uh, secret that isn't really a secret, but everyone thinks it is, and it kind of can be used for like one, because behind the spawn, every, people have been asking me non-stop, like, oh, it's like, is there a shortcut back here? And no, there is no shortcut back here, but if you want, you can just sit in the water, and the cool thing about sitting in the water behind the spawn is if you look at the left of the progress bar, I'll have to do that again, but if you look at the left, uh, on the bottom, sorry, of the progress bar, you'll notice how I'm to the left of it. So you can make negative progress if you just swim in this thing, which as you can see, it's kind of a cool little thing you can do. You can sit here indefinitely if you sit at the bottom of the waterfall, and you can go behind the spawn and make negative progress progress. Why would you want to do that? No particularly good reason, but it's something you, I, I figured I'd point out before we go into the actual shortcuts and alternate routes. So, uh, yeah, the very first section doesn't have any. I mean, you can go to the right of this, but that is literally just slower. You wouldn't ever want to. The, the route you're probably taking is the fastest. Maybe go closer towards this wall right here, because you'll notice if I do this one more time. Uh, if you go closer to the wall, you're taking a shorter pathway, and that's faster. That's the closest thing to a, uh, you know, a secret route we have right here. Just go to the left, and you can save yourself some time. So, the second thing we have, as far as secret pathways goes, is the second segment, which is probably the most... Either the most populated or the second most populated with secret routes because there's so many different uh, ways you can take it th across this map and uh, I feel like you know the fastest one is traditionally when you go like this through the uh, you know through the yellow hoop and then uh, you know down up and stuff but I feel like this isn't going to be the fastest route forever I think there might be a faster one to be found and if you're curious as well I think that fast one might be uh, in fact actually first of all let me show you the one I think the fast one won't be because the traditional route the one that I feel like you're not necessarily drawn to but the game wants to draw you to is uh, going through this little uh, you know kind of corner taking the really, really long way around and ending up over there. So that's what the game wants you to do. But what you can do instead is you can go to the left over here. If you go through this hole in the wall, which again, you don't have to do, but you can do that. And then if you go through this little hole in the floor, you can actually get this really nice speed boost that is technically the shortest path from this way to over there. Again, it's, it's a little bit shorter than the other way you usually would be taking. It's not much shorter though. And the big problem with it, the reason it's not faster, at least for me yet, is the fact that um, basically you have to slow down to kind of go up to land up here and then you go down like this and again it's, it's a big waste of speed and that's why it's not faster right now but it theoretically could be faster in the future because it is a shorter route so yeah there's a shorter route you might not have known it's fairly well hidden because it's on the left there and then you have to kind of know about that hole in the trees but it is a thing which does exist another thing which does exist is the fact that there's three holes through this thing here so one goes up through here as well it's not quite as useful but it does exist if you almost take the wrong path by accident and then that is it as far as this first section goes and it's little secrets I thought there might be another one because there so much going on but no there's just this big water down here which again you can float in if you want to but it's not really quite so useful especially not at that point in the map so yeah just one more time here is the uh, the basically the fastest route going through here ignoring all of the boosts and stuff because you're probably already at the maximum speed and uh, yeah let's, let's move on to the second section here which actually has a really cool secret just at the very start that you never see when you start from it like this so because it's just over the right there so i'm going to restart the whole map and i'm going to show you one more time because basically the second segment has a secret booster which you'd never want to use. It's an alternate route which is just objectively worse in terms of speed. But if you want to get the rings maybe in the ring mode or if you just want to be you know crazy and go a different route. Then what you might want to do is go to the right here because there's a little uh, you know draft meter thing. So this can be used to get you above the bridge or it can be used to get you the diamond ring which is found here in score attack mode. Again kind of useful and also gives you a lot of height which you can convert into speed. And then you know get that into this thing over here. So uh, then obviously as well as that thing you can take there's on the left here very very quickly there is a little hidden cavern saves you some time on the right there's another hidden cavern you know off the beaten pathway so you can go to the you know to the left there or you can save time and cut across three times in a row because you can cut across you know this thing on the right there you can cut across the thing on the left there and then you can cut across the other turn on the right and go through here as well as that turn, you know go, going through there you can also go, go across this thing right here i find this isn't quite so useful normally i think it's more useful if you go through the draft so if you go left like this and then you go around into the draft 
it's more useful to go through that because it's higher up, maybe, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, there there isn't really any good secrets besides just coming across the entire thing. One more time, if you want to see the fastest uh, route, as far as I can tell, this that you're never going to be able to beat this. It's just going up like that, going through here, and ending up in the next segment. Avoiding that water at all costs if you can. Although, you might want to like go to the left of it rather than the right. It's theoretically possible, and it'll save you a bit of time, but yeah, just something to keep in mind. As we move on to the next segment. So, yeah, the secret pathways here is just one, really, or technically two, but it's one that you didn't potentially didn't know about, and one you definitely knew about. Because, yeah, what you want to do is you well, normally you want to just go to the left here, go all the way around, and you can go up or down. That's what most people know. But, like you just saw me fail a couple of times there, you can also go through the wall here, and you can kind of cross. Again, it's it, it's a really good shortcut, especially for timing. If you keep messing it up, don't bother with it. But it's a thing you can do as we head into the next shortcut, which most people don't know about because it's below the bridge. That's right. You can go below the bridge, and it's a really good shortcut compared to almost every other single one. This is the second fastest route. It's just one I can't consistently do, especially if you just respawn here. But it's one you might know about. And also, as well as being able to get to it like that, you can get to it by going through the floor, which is what makes me think it could be even faster because you go through the floor here. You end up like that, and you take this massive, massive shortcut. Again, I feel like at some point in the future, this might be the fastest route. Because let me show you one more time. If we go back from the spawn uh, in a little bit, and let's pretend we go through this. So you go through the hole in the floor. Again, you want to be going at hyper speed for this. So <laughs> presumably not dying to. But if you could go at hyper speed and do this, again, it requires some really good maneuvering, but I'm sure someone can do it. You go through the floor like this. You cut across through there, around there. And then if you go across into the dirt pathway from before, that's the, that's going to be the fastest route. It's just no one can... I don't think anyone will be able to do that at the right speed. But maybe you can. If you want to find a faster pathway, that'll save you a lot of time over the, the current fastest pathway, which is going through the dirt wall like this. This is one of the hardest shortcuts to do in the game uh, because you really, really need to, like, again, know your speed or, like, preferably what you can do is you can slow yourself down the water and then you can go down like this. Again, it's something handy that you might not know. It's the dirt pathway. Everyone sees it. Everyone tries it. And most people fail it, but that's how you do it. Let me try it one more time and... Probably, yeah, there we go. Probably do it. Just in case any of that helps you. That's the uh, another shortcut. Uh, the the other shortcut that's like a tiny bit faster than the intended route. Because it really it actually wants you to go all the way around like this and then take a left turn. And, you know, it's actually not a, it's a horribly inefficient route it wants you to take. Uh, the other shortcut you can take is to go, uh, you know, right when you first see it. It's kind of an alternate route more than the shortcut, but something you might know about, just like that. And also, the other thing you can do here, it's particularly important for the time attack mode, is you can, oh, sorry, let me try that one more time. I keep pressing X because I know it's a little bit obnoxious sometimes. But uh, yeah, basically, um, there's a little wooden ring you can go through. That will save you a little bit of time. I'm not sure why it exists because like, you have to have so much height that most people never will. But in case if you're playing score attack, it comes up. And also, it's just a handy one to be able to... like. If you can do this shortcut, it's kind of like a good sign about yourself. But I <laughs> I felt like three times in a row there. But just so you know, it does exist. It is possible. And it's not a good shortcut for multiplayer. But it's useful for score attack because there's a diamond ring in there. So, yeah, you can also cut across this and go into the dirt pathway from the middle. Which, again, I, I, I still am holding to the fact that someone at some point will learn how to do this perfectly. Go through the floor, like, through here. Save a massive segment of the track. And then end up through that dirt thing at high speed somehow. I'm not going to be able to do it right now. But it's something that people can be done. This next segment, there's just two bits. There's an up, then there's a down. They have the same amount of speed boost attached to them, so there's not much you can really do there. And it is a one-way speed boost, so there's no way to get back through once you die. Or once you go through, you just kind of die if you try. So don't bother doing that, even if you're playing score attack. You, once you go through this thing, you're stuck for it forever. So the other thing to keep in mind is the fact that there's only two pathways up ahead here, and they link together, but you only want to link them together in score attack. In regular game modes, I usually recommend going to the left here, like, the right pathway has some merits, because uh, it's a shorter boost. Uh, but as far as I can tell, the left pathway is faster. Exactly why that is, is, again, it, it's not quite so logical. But because this boost is, it takes about the same time. I'm, I'm just saying, in my experience, they take, uh, again, the, the left way is faster. But if you want to try the fast, uh, the right way, it might end up faster if you're doing it right. But yeah, this is the left way. And the shortcut here is just to avoid both these other boosters. It, it might not be worth your time to do so. But it's something you might want to do. So, yeah, let's show you one more time. <laughs> okay, or, or we could die. That's that's also an option. But yeah, let's show you one more time just right here. Uh, you want to go through the first booster, then between the second two. Because if you land in the second one, you'll just get a way higher boost. and it, it slows you down a little bit more. Next checkpoint, again, we've got more shortcuts here. The big one everyone knows is the hole in the wall here. It's just faster. But you want to avoid that at all costs. That slows down the shortcut and makes it kind of like a long cut, I guess. Because if you, if you can't avoid that, then just take the left here because notice how you can go so much faster than being slowed down by the draft. It's just a good idea, even if you get like slowed down by this at the end, because there's an orange boost here, which takes you into the next section. So uh, yeah, the other things you can do is you can take uh, the draft up here, over onto the bridge. 
Again, only recommend this in score attack, but it does exist. Then into the yellow boost, which usually used to go over the mountain and just save a lot of the course. Um, the, the other like a kind of alternate route on this though that you might not know, especially if you don't play score attack, is the fact that on the left, there's this little, sh it's a secret long cut that again is used for like diamond rings, but really is kind of useless in by itself. Over here, you can get up here and there's this little secret area with a villager uh, on the wall. So again, a fun little thing you might not have previously seen. So <laughs> look, he's like trapped in a prison or something. So uh, yeah, then there's the final, uh, sorry, this the next segment of the map, definitely not the final one, where there's only two routes to take and they're both kind of equally good in my opinion, except they lead into the next section differently because the left section is just a really short boost. So it's a little bit faster by itself, I think, because look, you can go like this and then if you really want to, you can even use this to go up into like there and cross from the two because the two routes do connect to each other. Uh, but yeah, as far as which one's faster, I find the right one is just about the same speed, but it leads into the next section a lot faster. Because if you go into the next section from below, you'll notice how like you, you actually respawn at a slower point, but also you go into a draft thing, which slows you down massively, it's painful, and it's unavoidable as far as I can tell. However, from up here, you can just skip right across this and save so much time, uh, whereas from below, you have to go the long way around, or like, yeah, yeah you literally can't get through that thing, unless you're really, really good. Which, uh, again, I haven't been able to do it yet, so you could try it, but I've been failing so far. Then there's a few holes through the wall here. There's one on the left, one on the right. You probably know about these, you can literally see them. But just in case, here is one, and here is the other, which has a slightly different like, kind of curve to it. Then there's this uh, alternate shortcut on the right. Oh, sorry, not sh shortcut, long cut. Only really used for score attack, one more time. Uh, you wouldn't ever want to use it normally. Like, it's definitely not faster, because it's literally a longer, slower route. But it's a thing that does exist, and that can take you into the finale of the map. So I, sh I should have died just over the line, rather than just before it. But, my mistake. So yeah, you want to go across here. Perfect turn like that, except it was a little bit, you know, too sharp for my liking. And then we'll go to the final segment of the map, and we can talk about how there is no shortcuts here. There is just two routes you can take. There is left, which is generally better and faster. And there is right, and the right one... Uh, the reason the right one's not so fast is because you have to go down and then up. So you have to waste a lot of speed. And then, like, you can see how uh, slow, much slower it's going. I'd say the one thing that you might be able to do with this is maybe go a lot, like, go a lot fast like that, then cut across, then cut across. Maybe that's the fastest route. Again, I, I really doubt it, but it could be a thing. Uh, but, yeah, just keep in mind if you want to go one, one route and stick to it, go this way entirely. And if you are going to do that, one more thing to keep in mind is the fact that you want to go straight towards the finish line. Like, just take a beeline towards it and then you'll do that the fastest. The other thing though is that in score attack, one more time, there's a secret diamond ring you might miss in the ceiling over here. So, rather useful thing to know about. Also, there's an invisible ceiling up here. So, yeah, it's a rather useful thing to know about, the fact that you can uh, hit a diamond ring if you do it just like that. So, yeah, now we know. A uh, little diamond ring found it just up here. Oh, and <laughs> but it's kind of a dangerous thing as far as speed goes. And then here is the finish line. So one more time, just in the fastest, you know, potential fastest way, because I think this might go on someone's run. It's to go like just down there, just over there, and then oh, just like that. Except, you know, maybe be lined a bit more downwards. So, as you can see, I'm so good at this mini game. It only took me nine minutes and five seconds. See if you can beat that time. I know it's a really good one. Um, well, <laughs> by the way, in case you are curious, I am gonna like try and take back the world record at some point. But it is just one of those things where we're talking about microseconds now, so let's just do the run over and over and over again, and just pray you get these little seconds off. So, I might do that at some point in the future, but for now, this was just a little guide to help you out if you want to try and find a new, better run. Uh, otherwise, like it if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye.